what's going on YouTube so I just got through check-in and all that uh, just a word of advice for you guys if you ever travel to a place that requires an e-visa always keep it saved in a picture in your phone just in case I don't know what the hell happened but for some reason I had to show my e-visa in order for me to um, get my passport stamp. I thought that was a little bit weird and I was getting kind of frustrated. And for some reason, once I showed them my e-visa, then they stamped my uh, passport and let me go through. So just wanted to throw that out there, you guys. Keep that in mind. As you know, I want y'all to learn through me because some of y'all that are watching me never traveled before. Now, my gate is right down there, gate four. Um, headed back to Bangkok for a night. Gonna be spending a the night there and then I'm gonna be spending the rest of my time like another four weeks in Pattaya. And then from there, it's on the Bali, Indonesia, man. Another bucket list location. But my, rain, my main reason for going back is, cause as you guys know, Richie Mack is one of the pillars and reasons why I wanted to start traveling. And he's having a celebration for the next couple weeks. And there's gonna be a lot of other YouTubers there also, so gonna get a chance to meet some people that I never had to before as compared to my first time there and you know have some fun vlog show you guys what's going on what's popping and I'm gonna do what I can as long as my budget works with me to try to show you guys some more sites all right let's keep it moving We're on our way folks <laughs> Goodbye, Vietnam. It's been real. Back to Thailand. What's going on, YouTube? I'm officially back in Thailand, spending the night in Bangkok. Wanted to just show y'all my room real quick, man. I mean, I pretty much just got what I need in here. Nothing, ain't nothing too clad, ain't nothing like too like jazzy about it. So, um, it's the front door. Um, uh, I got the laundry area and whatnot out here, out there in the street. Um, nothing too crazy. I think they actually I think they actually got a bar here, but I don't think it's like a bar where you can like buy beer and tea and beverages, but it's not open right now. And as you can see they had a laundry mat out there. Um so as you walk in, you know, got a mirror here. You know, kind of like a desk work area there. I'll probably I'll probably do my live show in the morning over there. Um and then you got your TV right here, bed right here. And I got that change out and what have you because I'm actually about to order something to eat. Um, got a little uh, fridge right there and it did come with complimentary waters. I got those sitting in the fridge right now as you can see right there. All right, and then here, got your bathroom. All right. All right, just a little sink area. Then of course, toilet, shower. They got the water heater and everything in there. So yeah, bro. I mean, I'm only I'm I'm literally spending one night here, and then I'm going down up a tire tomorrow, bro. So I wasn't gonna sit over here and waste a whole bunch of money getting something like super extravagant. This was actually cheaper than the place that I stayed at my first time in Bangkok and plus I wanted something close to the airport you know for the sake of saving a few dollars and to be honest with you I already knew like once I got once I got here I was gonna want to just eat and relax which is pretty much <laughs> what I'm on now I'm just kind of letting my phone charge up and I'm gonna go ahead and order some food here in a little bit so just wanted to show y'all guys where I'm staying at. I think I paid, how much was this? Uh, I had to check and see, but it didn't really cost a lot, man. I think it's like, um, 
Damn, man. Let me check real quick for you guys. Because, you know, it's probably going to be some guys out there that's probably going to want to travel. And they may only be able to afford something like this. Um, but like I said, I just did it because it was like, I'm only going to I'm only gonna be in Bangkok for the night. Um, I just got into town. Like, see what's right now is 6 o'clock. I just got into town like a couple hours ago. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. 440 baht. So, like, you do the math. That's like... Maybe like 12, 13 bucks, give or take. Like, I don't know. Let me do something real quick. Because I think, right... Let me check it out real quick. How much Thai bought for every U.S. dollar? How much Thai bought for every U.S. dollar? So right now to come. One United States dollar equals thirty-four point two zero seven two one three Thai bots July twenty-first, twenty twenty-three, four forty-two Coordinated Universal Time. The okay. currency converter below is easy to use, and the currency rates are updated frequently. Okay, so as of right now, the bot is thirty-four point two. So it has gone. So it has it has gone up. I'm like, I did a video recently where they saying it was going up. It was. So the U.S. dollar is getting even stronger as far as going towards Thailand. Because I know when I left, it was like 32, 33. But now it's up to above, above 34. So that's pretty good. So let me do this real quick. How much is 440 baht in U.S. dollars? 440 Thai bots yeah. equals $12.78. Yeah, so it, I was right on the nose. That's what I said. I thought it was probably about 12, 13 bucks, and that's exactly what it is. So, yeah, that's how much it costs for, to stay here for a night, man. You know, you pretty much just got everything you need. It ain't, like, too crazy. Got the AC pumping, and you know, I'll tell you right now, it's super cool in here. It feel real good in here. So, you know, got the necessities. Got TV, got everything you need, man. So I'm like, ain't nothing too crazy, but this would definitely be for somebody you know, traveling like on a budget budget, and it's your first time out here. You know what I mean? Like, this wouldn't be too bad for like, you know, an extended stay if you just need somewhere to lay, lay your head and you want a budget. So just wanted to throw that out there. All right, headed to Pattaya tomorrow, and I'll show you guys that place next. All right, deuces. All right, YouTube, so it's been a change of plans. I had to cancel everything, and I just booked my flight on the way back to go back home to the Matrix. As you guys know, my dad's been having some health issues. Um, they just sent him to hospice, and for y'all all know, when you go to hospice, you know what that means. So... It's pretty much, well, it looks like my ride. Is this my ride pulling up? No, that's not my ride. So, he's officially going to hospice and can no longer do dialysis. So, if y'all know anything about that, then y'all know that he will, it'll just be a matter of days before he passes on. So, I am going to go ahead and head home now. So, again, I appreciate you guys supporting me. Um, please send prayers up. And just thank you for going on this journey with me. Um, as for right now, that'll pretty much put traveling on a hold, see what's going on with my father and how much longer they expect him to be around. Um, this doesn't mean I'm going to stop traveling permanently, but, you know, families first. And I just want to thank my family, friends for supporting me. And 
thank you guys as well all right so gonna go ahead and because i was literally literally out here waiting on my ride because i was supposed to be going up a tire but got that text this morning so i canceled everything and booked my flight up for the way home so since my ride was already on the way here um i don't know the flight is until eight this evening you know she was thinking she was telling me if, to maybe go around Bangkok a little bit to kind of burn time. I may or may not vlog that for you guys. Be honest with you, I'm kind of like, kind of got mixed feelings about it. Be honest with you, I really don't feel like vlogging at all. But wanted to end this, end this here because, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, but again, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I'm going to get on ready to head back home, all right? Let's keep it moving. All right, so I am currently at Qatar, first layover. Next layover will be in New York, and then from New York, it's back to Cincinnati. Um, yeah. Really haven't done a whole lot of vlogging because I know guys like like this airport. It's a beautiful airport. Security is super thorough. Um, but to be honest with you guys, I mean, I, I just really ain't been. I just ain't really been in the mood ever since I heard this news. Um, you know, I should be back before the the inevitable happens, but. Um, I don't know, you guys. But. Yeah. Uh oh. You know. All I ask is that you guys continue to support. Um, obviously, you know, I'm still going to be vlogging and stuff, even though I'll be back home, because I like vlogging. But, um. Yeah, just to give y'all guys a little bit of update this is where i'm at now and guess i'll i'll probably film again when i get to new york or something so i'll be hitting new york some by the, by the evening well i'll be back home by the evening period it's currently it's like it's about six something in the morning here in qatar so all right i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here man deuces